Hello, guys. Welcome to, I almost said March. It's not March anymore. It's April. Holy moly. Okay. April team meeting for Simply Grace and Grit and Wildflower Warriors. Um, thank you to the few that could hop on today. Super last minute. We had to do a time change because of my scheduling conflict. Um, and still wanted to get the meeting in, right? We still want to do these monthly meetings. We still want to touch base with y'all. We still want to go over things and just connect with y'all and um, talk about what's going on in our business. I asked before I started the recording how your month is going. Um, there is just, I feel like things are starting to ramp up slowly. Um, we had the new catalog start last month, which was amazing. We had record sales for many warmers in the catalog right now. Uh, Cute as a button is on back order. That's one of our best selling, like crazy amounts of numbers for that. So it's on back order right now, but when stuff like that happens, that shows you what you should be looking at, right? That shows you what you should be sharing, what's selling, um, what people are wanting, and then focusing on that. So keep an eye on your news tab daily. Um, the product status list, that's when things are going to show when they're going to come back. Um, and just keep you up to date with everything that's going on in our business. You cannot just rely on our Facebook groups, um, or me and Anya's emails to go out to keep up with what's going on in your business. We try our best to make sure we're focusing on the important things, but it is your responsibility to keep up with your business and see what's coming, coming out, um, and going on and leaving and all those things. So, um, Last month in March, we had a great month as a group. Um, we had a few directors kick the queue. We have um, an amazing top 10. People are buying. People are selling. People are partying. People are sponsoring. People are promoting. So if you feel some type of way about your business, you got to change that. You're the only one who can do it in your business. So know that these things are still happening in our business. I hear a lot of people say, oh, well, um, <clears throat> no one wants to party or no one wants to do this. Yes, they do. You just have to find the people that want to do it, okay? Um, and that may take a little bit more effort than what you're used to or what you've put into the past, but um, it's still happening. So be one of those people that are making it happen. Um, announcements. I um, sent out an email this morning. There is Poppy. Come here. My niece, side note, my niece left her baby doll here and it's sitting on the steps and now Poppy is growling at the baby doll. So come here, Poppy, come here, Poppy. She's like, who is that? Um, I sent out an email this morning like I do every single Monday or weekly. I try my best to do it on Mondays. Um, we have SFR registration is still going on. We are 100 days out from the event, which is so exciting. I think it was like 46 days until um, registration closes. So <clears throat> if you're on the fence about that, talk to your upline, talk to your sponsor, talk to your director and up about that and how you can figure it out. You can still do the payment plan. Um, tons of options with that. There's still a virtual option, which makes me want to say that everyone should attend. Okay, even if it's just virtual, if that's the only thing you do, totally get it. You'll get something out of it, I promise. Okay. Um, so that's still open. We also have our 20 year incentive. So everybody on here right now, um, probably not watching the replay, but everyone on here right now signed up before this year started. So we have the entire year to earn some fun gifts. Okay, and to earn them, you have to either do nine out of the 12 or 12 out of the 12 to earn them. Okay, and that is all, um, it's actually not on your incentives tab. I noticed that this morning. It is, I think it's pinned on the news tab though, um, about the incentive and what you need to do. It's also in Simply Grace and Grit. It's been in some of your emails in the past. Let me pull that up real quick to make sure. <clears throat> No, it's not. Okay. So it's in the news tab, but it's not pinned. I'm surprised. But if you search incentive on your news tab, it will come up. Cheers to 20 
years since the incentive 2024. Click on that. It's going to show you everything you need month by month, um, what's left to do. Okay. Um, <clears throat> so this month is to sign up and receive the scent and warmer of the month. Um, I won't even say collection, but it's just the, that that program. And that is what I'm going to be talking to y'all about today. Um, so make sure you're doing that. Go ahead and look at the months to come to see what you're going to need to do. These things that they're asking us to do each month, it's for a reason. <laughs> they want us to learn to build a successful business. And some of these or most of these things are things that are going to help you do it. What to focus on, what you should be doing in your business. Okay. Um. <clears throat> I think that's it for announcements. Anya, did you have anything else? We will have a working hour later this month. I haven't made the event for that yet. We are going to stick to, for the rest of the year, it's going to be the last Monday of every month um, at 7 p.m. Central Time. So again, that's never going to be recorded. That's just the time for us to come together. Whoever can make it, make it. I personally always get something out of it. I think the people who show up regularly will say the same thing. Um, there's always just tons of ideas flowing and it's kind of not really a training session, but it's a, it's a way to have that connection with people and know that other people are doing the same things that you're doing in this business. She's going to bite this baby. Poppy, come here. Come here. Yeah, she's not having it. All righty. So... Sit in warmer of the month. Put it in the comments. If you get sit in warmer of the month, um, kit, um, either one, both, whatever it is, put it in the comments what you get. No judgment. I'm going to tell you the reason why I have always gotten the sit and or warmer of the kit, warmer of the month kit since I joined six years ago. Um, and again, this is a great month to try it out if you haven't never done it because it's part of your incentive. Um, but if y'all have any questions specifically about that, let me know while you're live. And if you're watching the replay, feel free to always ask questions about it. I've heard pros and cons to it for many people, <clears throat> but I'm going to tell you why. Oh no. I'm going to tell you why I personally get it and how I have seen it help people in their business. Okay. So um, a few things. The scent and warmer of the month kit is just for consultants. So it is a huge consultant perk um, in your business. Okay. Um, it is a kit that's in place for a reason, right? So why would Sensi give us this kit to optionally get every month? Because it's going to help us in our business. It's to help us prepare to reach out to our customers and give us a reason to reach out to them regularly, right? So Maybe you're doing really well in your business or maybe you're struggling and you don't know where to go towards next, like what to focus on, what to do. The Sit in, the month, sit in Warmer of the Month kit is a great option to get and utilize in your business, right? So one, it's going to give you PRV, right? We get paid off of purchasing those things. But it's also an opportunity for you to say, hey, I'm going to take a bar from the kit and I'm going to make samples of it and I'm going to send it to my last 50 customers and then I'm going to follow up with them about it, okay? That's a reason to talk to people in your business. And those conversations, that talking to people, that following up, that, hey, do you want a free sample? All of that connection is going to lead to those important you know, conversations that we want y'all having, which is the hosting and the, and the joining conversations. Um, <clears throat> but it's also a gift. Okay. So if you're not, if you're not sampling, this is a way to gift something to your customers. You can put this in with a thank you note and that's their gift. Okay. They're getting to experience the sense. Sometimes when I have like a bunch of samples to send out, I don't send, I usually send a sit circle as a thank you. I'll send the samples instead. That's their gift. They get to experience all of these things. And people love to smell, right? You've never given someone their order and they'd be mad, right? They are so excited to get their scents. They're so excited to experience them. Same thing with the samples, okay? So <clears throat> utilize this kit for your customers, for your business. Um, here's the breakdown of it. And this has recently changed. Um, the scent of the month kit is going to be seven bars. So seven wax bars, um, one set of pods, which is brand new and I love them. 
Love, love, love that we have them in the pods now. Um, 50 flyers, 72 stickers. Okay. So with that, it's always $35, 35 bucks. Okay. The retail of those things, the seven bars, the pod, the 50 flyers and the 72 stickers, the retail price of that is $58. Okay. So if you're going to get that kit and you're going to sample out one bar, right, to your expense, but you can sell the rest of them, you're going to make money on purchasing that kit because there's such a price difference in that, okay? Huge savings for consultants, um, huge opportunity, right, with your customers. Now, the breakdown of the warmer of the month is the same exact kit, except you get the warmer. And that price is going to vary month to month, depending on what kind of warmer it is. <clears throat> but for instance, this month, scent and warmer of the month kit is for next month. And they give it to us early, right? So we can prepare. But for example, just to give you all a breakdown of this month, the truck, I don't even know the name of it. You know what I'm talking about? Did y'all have y'all seen next month's warmer and send the month? Yeah, okay. It's super cute. It's a pink truck. It's gonna have flowers in the flower bed. Um, it was on the end of month last month, but it is a $65 warmer. That's full retail, okay? <clears throat> Scent of the month retail is 58, like I said. So that would be a total of $123 total. You're gonna pay 85. Okay, so again. Great savings. Now, if you're like, oh, well, it's 10% off that month, next month. Totally get it. That means it's the warmer is going to be $58.50. Um, the retail price, 10% off of the set of the month kit would be $52.80. So that's a total of $111.30 and you're still going to pay $85. So even with it 10% discounted, you're still getting almost $30 discount. Okay. So, um, <clears throat> there's no, there's no discussion as if it's a great deal or not, because it is. Okay. Um, they're giving it to us at a discount. We're able to do things with it. So with the set of the month, like I said, we're going to sample it. We're going to share it to people, um, locally to us. We're going to let them smell the bars. They used to send us a tester, but they don't anymore. Cause we don't, we don't need it. We don't need it. Okay. Um, but sampling that out is huge. If you're getting the scent of the month kit and you're not doing anything with it, except maybe putting it in your stock and letting people know you have it on hand, you're doing yourself a huge disservice in your business. Huge. Okay. You have a gift since he does it for a reason. You got to put the work in to get out of it. Okay. Now I personally always, since I, since I've been about a year into my business, so for the last five years, I always get the warmer of the month, sit and warmer of the month kits, okay? I'm not saying you have to do this, but I'm going to tell you why I do this. It makes me want to sell that warmer. So even if I don't personally love it, I still get it because someone's going to love it. And it's usually the ones that I don't like that people are crazy over, to be honest with you. I don't know why, but that's just how it works. So if I, if I choose, if I love it, obviously I want to get it. Like that's a no brainer, right? Because the savings on it is amazing. But if I don't like it, <clears throat> I'm still going to get it because once I get it, I'm going to take my own pictures of it. I'm going to go live with it for my VIPs. I'm going to show it off in my own way. I'm going to take selfies with it. I'm going to do all the things that one, people know I'm invested in my business because I'm showing them what's coming, right? And I can show them in person and talk about it and experience it and say, oh, it feels like this or give them the details of what the real color is or whatever that, you know, whatever questions they have. But I'm also going to make it my own. Now, if I don't like it, this is a personal special I offer. So it cannot be put publicly, but my, all of my regular customers know this. And it's something that I'll put in an email every now and then. I personally will take an additional 20% off of that warmer if I don't want to keep it. That one warmer, okay? So that way, <clears throat> I'm not stuck with a warmer I don't like. And I get the warmer. I get to use it and do all the things I want with it. And then I get to get my money back on it, pretty much. Plus, plus a few extra dollars, actually, if you do the math. So I take an additional 20% off. So that means that in that month, of 
the current month, so in May, that truck warmer, because I'm not going to keep it, I already know that, is going to be 30% off the regular price of $65, okay? And they know that if I'm not keeping it, there's one, and the first person to message me gets it. They get 30% off of it, but they still pay shipping and everything else, okay? Again, that makes it so I have it, I use it in my business, it's great, but then I get rid of it, okay? And I'm not losing money by doing that, okay? Um, that is something that I have found. If I don't get the warmer, I won't share it as much. That's just how I work my business. If it's not here in my face, like y'all see this mess back here. This is, I just got an order in. I've got boohoo's of samples I need to get out. If it's not here in my face, it's just not going to happen, right? That's the same reason I also always get our early access wax because if I don't order that wax, I'm not going to share it as much as if I can get it and I can show pictures of me making samples and I can get it under people's noses and I can experience it. Again, that is why I feel that I have such high PRB because I'm always investing in what's new. I'm always sharing it one-on-one -on -one from experience. Not saying you have to do that, but I would start to say maybe get one early access a month or Set of the month every other month or whatever is in your budget, right? We're, we always know that we're not spending family money on Sensi, but to invest in your business, they do offer these kits and these opportunities, this early access for a reason. We ask for early access on collections. They used to never do them. We got them when everyone else did. But it was a huge disservice to us because of the timing of, of the collections. And they have seen a huge influx of sales since we started to do the early access because the consultants can actually um, experience them and sample them out. So that is just what I personally do. Um, some people will only get the warmer if they're going to keep it. That's a dub moment, like I said, because the savings is incredible. Um, but if you're in a spot in your business that you can invest that up front, I highly suggest it, Okay. Um, like I said, you're going to get that PRV. And then the price of the warmer of the kit is always going to vary on the um, actual warmer. You can go into your account on your workstation to see how much the kit is going to be before it runs. Okay. Um, <clears throat> so to do that, you're going to go to account and then select websites and subscriptions. And then you're going to click edit. So that clicking edit button, a lot of people don't get that far because they don't necessarily want to edit their subscription, but you need to click that to be able to see what it, what the price is going to be, okay? It's also $8 shipping and not our usual $10 shipping, so it is a little bit cheaper shipping for us as well. Um, so that's another one, but you can always edit or cancel your subscription there. Now, this is where it gets a little tricky with people. You, if you have a current, and I think everyone said they get at least one of them in here. Um, but for people who watch on the replay, if you don't, the um, the way that it works is if you have a current subscription, that means if you go into account, you go to subscriptions, and you see that you're enrolled, it's automatic. That's an auto enrollment. When you signed up for that, since he told you this is going to run every single month until you cancel it, okay? or change it. So say last month you got sent of the month, but you want warmer of the month this month, you have to go in and change that by the 14th for it before it runs on the 15th. Okay. You have to change it. Or if it runs on the 15th, since they will not change it for you, you will not be able to get it. It won't, they won't ever do it. I've never seen them fix that. So if it's something that you go back and forth on, on which kit you get, Put it on your calendar for like the 13th of the month to say, go in and check or change it, whatever. Now, if you don't have an existing subscription to the sit and warm of the kit, you have until the 28th to sign up for it to get that next month's kit. So if there's 29 days in the month and you wait till the 29th, you're going to get the following months. Does that make sense? So in April, we have until April 28th to sign up to get May's scent and warmer of the month. If you wait until the 29th, you're going to get June's scent and warmer of the month when it when it runs on the 15th of May. Okay? So, if you're wanting to do the incentive this month and you have not enrolled, you have until the 28th of the month to sign up. 
if you already have an existing subscription, say you're signed up for the warmer of the month, but you want to change it to center of the month, you have to change that by the 14th before it runs. So anybody have any questions about that? Because I get tons and tons of questions about that. <clears throat> the Sunshine Mango, I think, isn't that what it's called? Someone actually asked me about that scent um, from the Whip Box last month. They were like, I need that. It is. It is really good. Anya probably, you like it, Anya? What? I'm surprised. Um, so yeah, you must make changes by the 14th. When to share that scent and warm of the month. I always feel like scent and warm of the month kit is kind of something that's going on in the background of your business because you're not necessarily going to be sharing that until I don't share the next month's scent and warm of the month until the last few days. Here lately, it's literally been the last day of the month that I share anything because it's been a little rough for me. Okay. Um, my PRV is not as high as I'd like it to be. I'm always wanting 4K and we're not quite there. So sometimes I'm waiting to the last day of the month to share next month. So scent warmer of the month for next month, I won't share that until the last couple of days of the month. Sharing something that we don't have available is up for discussion and it depends on who you ask, what they're going to tell you. But me and Anya will always tell you to focus on the month you're in and focus on the things that are available now. We have so much that's available that this just silly to, to sh be sharing something that's coming next month. Um, well, they sell just the warmer lid. There are some lids that are in the accessories part of our website. Um, I think it just depends on the warmer. Yep. Same. Lauren, she says, I wait until I meet my goal before sharing next month. Yep. Um, so for me, it's the last few days. I'm always doing these samples, um, and I'm sending out scent and warmer of the month. So, so a lot of people say, well, when do you send those samples out? I always include them in my thank yous. Um, oh, the flower lid. I don't think it's going to be just available by itself. I haven't seen that. Have you seen that, Anya? In the brochure, it doesn't have it separate. I've, I'd honestly be surprised if they did just because they are usually pretty short on um on those lids because I want them to bring all the lids back so people can interchange them on their existing trucks. But um, <clears throat> if I see anything about that or one of us can ask and see. Um, what was I saying? Oh, who to sample that out to. So last X amount of customers, I always include scent of the month in my happy mail. So if um, I'm sending out March thank yous right now, I have these samples ready to go. They just got to get out the door. Um, that's who I sample out to. If you don't have that many customers, or maybe you're restarting your business, or maybe you just came back, or maybe you just started, um, I would personally, and sometimes I will do this. I did it last week where I will just say who wants a sample. And I made a Google form that they fill out. It just has their name, their email, and their mailing address. And at the bottom, I asked um, some questions about like what they're interested in, free sensei, fundraising, or starting their own business. Super quick form. But they have to fill that out for me to send samples. And that's a way to grow your business too, right? Now, if someone's asking for sam free samples every month and they're not ordering, then that's when we don't, we just say, hey, these are for my customers. And that's something you can totally do in your business. Um, so new customers, thank yous, uh, a way to grow your business, uh, a call to action is something that uh, is very popular in our business as far as like direct selling and social selling. So saying things like, hey, if you want free samples, fill out this. You want to get their information. You want to add their information to your workstation. That's why I always ask for email address because I want them on my email list. Okay. Um, any questions about that? I will say in this, like I said, I'll be done in time for the, the clips. But the last thing I have to say about this kit and anything else that Sensi gives us. So early access, sit and warmer of the kit, sit and warmer of the month, um, the sales kits they do. The biggest thing is that you use them, right? So even my home kit that I got last, what was that, March, February? Yeah. I'm still going through those warmers in that kit to do my reels, to do my pictures, to show them live, to 
take pictures, right? I, you have to utilize these things that Scentsy is giving us. You have to use the Scent and Warm of the Month kit. Like I said, you can't just order it, put it in your stock and move along. Take one bar, sample it out, say I'm going to get um, 20 reviews on it. Or maybe you even just ask your best customers, hey, if I send you this sample, will you share your thoughts on it so I can share it? Or will you tag me in a post on what you think about the scent? You know, there's so many things that you can do to help grow your business and scent and warmer of the kit. How many times have I said that wrong? Scent and warmer of the month kit is a way to help you do that. Um, and yeah, like she said, you can also use, I use these for gifts too. Like if it's a host gift or just a thank you, you can throw one in with a, um, with an order. I will say a lot of people ask about write-offs with scent and warmer of the month kits and products. You do have to be careful about that because the whole kit's not a write-off if you're selling it. Like if you're reselling your bars, you can't, you can't write that off. Um, because you're getting profit off of it. Now, if you want to be real technical, you could probably divide the, the contents of the kit up on what you're paying for. And maybe if you gift one or two of those bars, you could write those off. But that could be a little iffy. So um, I personally try and resell it all except one bar. Um, just because that's easier for me. Now, if you're taking that kit and you're giving away the whole kit, like if you're, if you get sent and warm of the month and you make one bar of samples and you give away six bars, then yeah, it's a write-off for sure. But if you're reselling any of that stuff, it is not a write-off. Um, anything else about sent and warm of the kit? Sit, sit and warmer of the kit. Yep. Sit and warmer of the month kit. No, no questions. Okay. The last thing I wanted to mention, another program that Cincy is offering us, and it's brand new, I put it in a few emails, is the um, Success Paths. Who has checked that out? Who has looked at the Success Paths in the workstation? So these are super cool. This is something they've been working on for a while. Um, it is... We were talking about this morning, actually, in our SSD chat about, like, that is literally all you need. Literally, all you, it tells you exactly what you need to do to get to the next part of your business, to the next title, if that's something you're wanting to do. Here's the other thing. If you don't want to promote, you can still see all of the paths from your previous titles. Um, so really, either if you are or if you aren't, I'm going to do the same thing. I'm starting to slowly go through it from essential and up and run through the programs because why not? It's going to be a great refresher on what you really should be focusing on in your business. It's going to be remind you of things that maybe you are or aren't doing just like this training. Like sometimes we'll just be like, oh, well, don't worry about the scent and warm work. You know, don't worry about the scent of the month. But that's no big deal. I don't have time to do that. Right. Same thing with these these pathways. They are showing and telling you exactly what you need to do to get to the next step. In addition to Simply Grace and Grit and Wildflower Warriors, in addition to the weekly emails, in addition to all the trainings we do, there's really no reason not to promote or do, you know, hit your goals in the, in the business because everything that you actually need are at your fingertips. So if you have not done that, if you have not done those paths, the success paths, be sure to check that out for your next title. Um, go through them. You'll see some familiar faces in there, which is super exciting when you see people you know. Um, and just utilize what our business, what our what Cincy gives us. It really is so much that like sometimes I don't even know which way to turn because there's just so much going on, which we should be feel very blessed um, for because a lot of companies don't have that. But all right, I'm gonna go ahead and stop the recording.